All right, I think we're probably live. Possibly, maybe. Maybe. I don't have a notification. There it is. Yeah. Okay. So. Yay. Um. I'll say this episode. Oh, first, uh, hi everybody. I'm Lonnie. I'm Amberlicious. And we are Untitled Learn Network, uh, brought to you by Infinity Flux, your local satanist. And um, uh, like I'm sitting here. Well, I'm trying to pull up. There the, we are. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to pull us up. Well, I mean, I don't know. But uh, maybe. There we go. Is it on yours? Yeah, okay. kinda. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm watching the chat. This is uh, spoiling dad number one. Okay. No, it's like one eighteen. One eighteen. Or one nineteen. I think one eighteen was last week. This is, I believe, one nineteen. Um, the episode was called "The Obliged." Uh, we will be watching the live chat just in case somebody gets lost and ends up with us. Um, I don't know. I can't get it to pull up online. I know it, it's crazy. Um, but we because recorded this, we're not live anymore. Now we are. Just kidding. I don't uh, know. Well, I just. I know it's. Stupid. It's very. <laughs> but uh. It's confusing. Okay, I think I got it now. I don't but, even think it's stupid. It's the ad thing. Some of the ads don't play correctly, and yeah. that's where it messes up me connecting to the stream. Maybe regardless. maybe it'll work itself out. But anyway, we'd, we'd appreciate okay. it if you uh, followed us here on Twitch. Yay. Um, and we eventually will be back on YouTube eventually. Eventually, someday. Um, this this episode they they were really um this so far this was the best episode of the season. Yeah. Just hands down. Definitely. We had some, some Walker action. We had uh, well, some amazing Negan moments. The, you know, the, not you know, last episode. But the episode before was really, really, really good. So this this episode, we got some really good Negan time. We got uh, Rick and Daryl had an amazing one on one chat really in a pit. We got to see uh, like a really quick Rick versus Daryl moment. Uh, Mm -hmm. Got to see Michonne talk to Negan and uh, hear a little bit more about um, Negan's past. Mm -hmm. the The whole deal between Anne and Gabriel was pretty sweet. I, everything about this episode was great. Yeah, there wasn't a poor moment in this episode. Um, there wasn't any moment where we we're just kind of like, eh. no, nobody died. Um, Yet. Yeah, I'm I'm almost positive somebody got killed during the uh Carol in the Kingdom versus the Saviors yeah. shootout, but we don't know who yet. Yeah, we don't know what exactly went down because, you know, um, Rick decided to lead the zombies on his own. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and say that I don't think we're gonna know anything about anybody next episode except for Rick. Oh no, yeah, it's gonna um, be all about him. This is going to be a Rick episode, and from what I understand, it's, it's probably going to be kind of like the episode where Tyrese died, you know, where it was like mm -hmm. constant hallucinations and stuff. Yep. They've already confirmed that... Um, it's his last episode. That, they've confirmed this last episode. Mm -hmm. They've confirmed that um, Shane is going to appear. He's going we to We saw that on the preview. And they've... So. From what I understand, they're talking like... Somebody... I read somewhere... That um, Scott Wilson, the guy who plays Herschel, is going to appear. That'd be kind of neat because, you know, he just passed away right. like a week and a half ago. Um, that'd be kind of neat to see that. A lot of faces from the past. We'll probably end up seeing Carl again. And from the, the way he ends up hurt pretty bad. Um, from what I understand, he's going to be seeing a lot of his past. They showed in the next episode. The little preview, we're going to see a lot of scenes from the hospital in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. We're going to see a lot of, uh, <laughs> what happens is Loki will attack Freya, mm -hmm. like clockwork. <laughs> He'll attack Freya, you'll hear, yeah. and you know, the fighting, right. and then it'll stop, and everything will go quiet, 
And then he'll start making that weird meow noise. He'll just walk around the apartment. Wow. Something wow. about it, I guess. I don't know. He starts it. I, I think it's a. I think he's bipolar, and it's a. It's a. It's a. An apology. A call of remorse. It's an apology. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I don't know. I never knew a cat to be remorseful. Number one. He's probably not. <laughs> But, uh, it feels more of a, damn it, I failed again, probably. Yeah. <laughs> but they're, they're seriously, they're teasing this. All signs point to Rick is hallucinating. His life is flashing before his eyes. He's going to end up dying. Yep. I'm still not 100% sold because they are trying to make us think that he's going to die. I just, I don't, I don't think, know. I think that if he's, he's going to die. He's bleeding not, pretty profusely. He body. is. We've seen we've seen him in worse shape though. Really though? Yeah. I don't think so, man. I'm pretty sure he's been impaled on something before. I don't think he's ever been in. He's not been impaled. I don't think that's. I think he has. has. I would, I would have to like go back and look. Like, Rick Grimes' oh, worst injuries. I'm curious. Um, man, look it up on Wikipedia. It seems like he's. <laughs> it, it seriously seems like he was. No, that's Daryl I'm thinking about. Who's been impaled before? Yeah. Remember that arrow went through his side? Same place whenever he was the Cherokee Rose episode. Yeah, sure did. Um, I'm, I'm not... Let me see. Rick Rhymes, injury. Uh... It doesn't really say anything. I mean, Rick had, I mean, you know, he lost his hand in the comics, but. Right. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to do some further research. But okay. The, uh, the, this, this, God, like, they're, they're teasing it so much for next episode. And I feel like we're going to spend more time talking about next episode than we are this one. But they're, they're really teasing it like it's going to be. A death. He's yeah. hallucinating to the point where he dies. Yeah. And that's the end of Rick. I mean, he, they show him getting off, like, like, he does manage to get off the iron bar and get back on the horse, which I, is a miracle within itself right there. And he starts... Because I, honest to God, just knew, like, as soon as he fell on that thing, like, he had paralyzed himself. A big yeah. piece of concrete. Instead, he st- impaled himself. <laughs> well, he, I don't, I don't know what to think about this. I mean, I'm just, uh, uh we knew. We have to have we, a glass of wine next episode. Well, you knew right away that, um, <laughs> you knew that that was the last time Rick and Daryl were ever going to talk. They, yes. they, they played it out totally like that. Yeah, that was so emotional. He called him brother and shit. Like they had one last little spat, and then like brothers do, everything everything went good. Oh. But I just uh, like I so am not looking forward to next week. I am. I mean, it'd I'm, be good, but um, at the same time, it's hard to say goodbye. I'm glad. Like all signs are pointing to him dying, but I'm telling you, I still am not sold. I'm not sold that he's oh, okay. gonna die. That's fine. Um, I know you don't want to believe that. No, I don't. And okay. he, I mean, he, may, with that. he may end hey, up. Hey, they pulled the whole land under a dumpster bullshit. Why not this? Yeah. Um, Why not? He wake up somewhere else and stuff. <laughs> it was all a dream. I don't really know how this is going <laughs> to go, but we, we know the bridge is going to have something to do with it. Um, you think so? Well, here's the thing. If, let's say, the bridge fails, mm-hmm. how does Rick get to the other side at that point? The river can't go on forever. No. So, I'm just saying that that bridge being there is not a, is not an overly important thing. Mm-hmm. I think that if worse come to worse, they could figure out something else. But, because, you know, I'm just, I'm thinking, you know, my, my first thought is, oh, how 
you know, how far his, I guess it's like, think about where we're at, okay? Mm-hmm. Let's say every bridge that crosses the Tennessee River mm-hmm. um, were to just collapse right now. How easy or how how far down river would you have to go before you could legit go across? Yeah. Like, you know, I mean, surely the river has to divide off or get small enough to where you can. Keep this way to cross. Yeah. But, I mean, it would be miles. So, I'm wondering. I mean, I don't know. It depends on how well you could swim, honestly, because, I mean, I sit here and I think of, okay, I think of Stuck Creek. I think of going on the riverbank there and how far across it is and how deep it is. And honest to God, it would just depend on how well you could swim. Well, but he's in no shape to do that. No. But what, so, I, what I'm asking is, let's say he crosses the bridge or he's on, let's say he causes the bridge to collapse to keep the herd from getting to Alexandria or something. Okay. And he's on the wrong side of the bridge. Yes. Could maybe him being stuck on the other side of the bridge be his disappearance for a couple of seasons? I don't think. Because... I don't think so. Well, point being, he's not in that good physical shape. That's a good point. Um, He's not. He's, I mean, he's got a bad injury. I could all, like... Here, here's here's my thought of him not dying. Okay, this is my theory now. Because a lot of people were thinking, oh, you know, wherever uh, Anne is headed, or J- Jadis was her name. Mm-hmm. Now she's Anne. Wherever she was headed, you know, name. people were thinking that Rick was going to give himself in place. Of yeah, that's, Gabriel. that was our theory last week. Not even close. No, um, no it's not. So Because... Maggie finally decided. I mean, that's what it boils down to is Maggie caused all this. That is true. She did. That's That's what happens when you let ugly emotions like hate and revenge rule your heart and make decisions. Bad shit happens. Life lesson learned. But what, like, seriously, (laughs) what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is going to happen is. This helicopter or whatever mm-hmm. from the other community. That's a pretty big couple of herds and they're merging. Mm-hmm. The the people in the helicopter and stuff have to know about these herds. From the oh, area yeah. Yeah. They are going to see this this bright white horse mm-hmm. with an injured body on the back of it going away from the herd. They are going to swoop down as Rick falls unconscious. And I'm almost positive that the entire hallucination set that he has is going to be yeah, in a helicopter. helicopter. And he well, is, I said that. I he's said going to end up, wake up somewhere else. He's That's going to wake up so far away. He won't be able to get and they're not going to tell him where he's at. They're not going to tell him how to get home. Mm-hmm. He's going to be stuck there forever. Well, he'll probably need to be stuck there for a while anyway. Again, yep. the injuries and injuries are horrible. Yep. Because, I mean, Rick, he's, he's getting up. I mean, he's not an old man, but he's... Well, he's been through a lot. <laughs> it doesn't matter how old you are. If you've been through a that, lot... That's very true. It takes a toll on your body. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, he's been shot. I mean, he could be 32 right now and look that bad he's, with all the shit he's been through. He's been shot. He's been impaled by a, a rusty piece of metal. He, nice. He's been... <laughs> I mean, think about the times he's had the hell beat out of him. Negan, mm-hmm. he got the hell beat out of him by the governor. I mean, um, he has. He's been a real piece of... He, he's, he's had his ass handed to him several times. But, uh, but yeah, the, the whole thing, like I said, you know, we're talking way more about Rick next episode than we mm-hmm. are. And uh, I'm just, they're also talking about this time jump. That they're, gonna, they're saying there's going to be another one. This one's going to be like five years. Mm. That's what I'm hearing. Um, and I'll go ahead and tell you, we're not going to know anything about the whispers until after that five years. Okay. Yeah. But there's no way they're going to introduce or tease the whispers and then do a five-year jump. True. No way. Um, 
but we don't know anything 100 percent about that yet but uh, the, the there's just a lot of a lot of questions mm -hmm. and uh i don't think we're going to have the answers to many of them next episode besides what happens to rick yeah and we may even be left with questions in regards to that i mean you never know they uh he may have this whole big hallucination thing and then the episode ends with a helicopter landing picking him up mm. that's all she wrote yeah. you never they never address it again for like two or three years and then suddenly he pops up after everything hey guys what's up yeah no he don't pop back up they show up there and then he has amnesia sorry oh amnesia <laughs> no that, i swear that better not happen i don't remember any of you <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'll I'll tell you um, what people are going to be wondering what happened to him if he is alive and just ends up captured or carried off somewhere or whatever. There, there is a part in the comics where um, Michonne actually goes with the caravan to the Commonwealth, and when she shows up, there's like a huge billboard. Uh -huh. out front with like missing persons you know have you seen my mom have you seen my brother last uh -huh. seen at this location with pictures and there's actually a picture of michonne up on the board that she yeah. sees it says have you seen my mom and michonne's daughter in the comics which i guess would be son here in the tv show uh -huh. is living at commonwealth but wouldn't that be the plot twist if she shows up and finds rick there you know and rick True. i don't know if rick would have a picture of her or not, but I mean, I don't know. There's so many different ways this could go. So how bad did you feel for Negan when he was asking for Lisa? I love Negan to death. I like, felt so bad for him. I did, and he's he legit. Because I mean, he named it after his wife, right? Yeah, and the yeah, so but they haven't I'm revealed sure. that yet. Well, so. I mean, he told the story and then just wanted to see it. I mean. Yeah. Kind of obvious. Like, the point where he's, like, banging his head into the concrete wall and just yeah. having a horrible time of it. And... I don't know. I, don't know. I just felt, felt awful. Because, I mean, yeah, it caused a lot of devastation, but it really did mean something to him. It was like his security blanket. It was. I mean, it really is. Yeah. Oh, imagine when how he's going to lose it. When that bat breaks, because if it happens like in the comic books, I'm totally gonna stop. It, it'll suck. <laughs> I mean, I, I would anyway, even if he didn't react that way. But. Yeah. Oh, no. So what do you what do you give this episode? Oh, by the way, like Ashley was dead tired. That's why she's not here. Oh yeah. <laughs> it yeah. would be fair to let everybody know that. Just hey, where's Ashley at? She, she is in the bed yeah, already. Tired, yeah. Um. So what do you give this episode? I'm going to give it a 10. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give, give it a, a 10, 10 as well. It, it was pretty solid throughout the whole thing. There wasn't a dull moment. I mean. This, there's, there's, you know, I thought this you know, way about the last episode. Like the, We learned what Michonne does at night when she can't sleep. Yeah. The it's, zombie. It's like they're. The, there's a lot of these episodes right now that are perfect episodes. They just don't have those big 11 moments. Right. Like somebody getting killed or some huge plot twist. You know, Negan you know, was trying really hard to connect with her. Do you really think they're a lot alike? Or is that just him trying to play her? I think Negan is legit right now. I don't think he's trying to play anybody. I think he's... Well, it's not, it's not playing people. He just wants to... He just wants his bat. Honest to God, I don't think he even cared about getting out. He just wants his bat at this point. And... Yeah, uh, I, I mean... So we'll I don't see. mean playing her on, like, a big scale. Maybe. You know? Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and say we will see him with that bat again. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a major build-up. may not even happen this season. But it will happen. Uh, I, I'm really thinking it, it'll be... He'll get out. And the whole whispers thing will be in full swing, but we'll we'll see it. And he'll he'll be with the bat for half an episode, and then that'll really suck. But it's coming. 
Go ahead and get ready. No. <laughs> That's Jeffrey D. Morgan's actually on the Talking Dead right oh, now. Oh, they've got a lot of good guests on there tonight. They've had good guests on there. But tonight it's really like. Yeah, they've got uh, Gabriel. They've got Negan. Uh, they've got Angela. Angela. Isn't Angela Heard the showrunner? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Um, are Michelle and Negan the same as their current poll? No, 89%. Uh, <laughs> okay. I, I think they're pretty close. It's I think it, they're similar, but they're not the same. There's yeah, a difference. I think a lot of people don't yeah, like, sure. uh, a lot of people just don't like Negan. People still hate Negan. But a, a vast majority of the Walking Dead audience has never touched a comic. Mm -hmm. And they hate Negan. For, but me, I've loved Negan since before he showed up. Because by the time he showed up in the TV show, his story arc was dang near wrapped up right. in the comics. And, uh, like, they've even talked, like, Negan may not ever come back. I think they'd be stupid not to bring him back, but mm -hmm. I also think Kirkman is just that mean that he would oh, yeah. not let Negan ever come back. Like, okay, Negan's, because, you know, Negan's a fan favorite, but his arc, his story arc is wrapped. There's there's nothing, there's nothing feasible like for him to do. Um, like, you know, he, he was in prison, he came out, he redeemed himself, he helped Alexandria get out of a bind, mm -hmm. he finally had his face-to-face -face with Maggie, she had a chance to kill him, she decided not to, and then he ends up, his, the very last few pages of Negan in the comics, last time we saw him was like almost a year ago, was he got, uh, he was trying to make another Lucille, he was mm -hmm. out and about, and he was getting ready to make another loose he was like wrapping the barbed wire around it and then finally he just came to the realization you know you're just a bat and he throws it in the fire and walks away with a smile on his face that was it that's the end of that's Negan's story but god I want to see him again so bad oh I'm sure you do like I, I would almost hope that maybe you know like now they're at the commonwealth like maybe he's there and they just don't know about it out. like yeah. and I'm still I think the, the comic book right now is like number 188. I think they're like a solid year from number 200. Mm -hmm. And Negan is like basically saying that number 200 is going to be like so much more epic than number 100 was. Yeah. And that was the death of Glenn mm -hmm. at the hands of Negan and Negan's first appearance. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I, I'm, I really... But now we're talking about the comic book. But the uh, but I, I would love to see something major. And he, he promises something major is going to happen. And in my letter that I had published, I think it was like number 174 or something, uh, I actually asked him, you know, I was like, you know, a really neat story would be to, uh, you know, like, I was like, maybe somebody has like a nuclear weapon there. You remember like on a, you ever say like I think it was the second Planet of the Apes maybe the old Planet of the Apes and there was like the telepaths underground that had the mm -hmm. bomb I was thinking it'd be something like oh you know they have a nuclear bomb hanging out there and <laughs> Kirkman answered and he was like no, I can promise there's no nukes in yeah. issue 200 and then somebody else like one, one of the other creators was like but that does kind of make you wonder what happened to the world's nuclear arsenal? And then Kirkman was like, I'm not even going to touch it. <laughs> so that, it was neat to see him reply to my inquiry on that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, God, like there's so much to look forward to. Mm -hmm. And this, this next episode that we're going to, uh, next week is going to be episode five. There's supposed to be eight episodes. Which I, I wouldn't tell, like, they're saying that this is Rick Grimes' last episode, which is episode five, but every report I heard leading up to that, oh, Michael Rooker's on there, too. Yeah, yeah um, I noticed that. Let's check him out. He's, he's uh, not dressed in typical style. No, hey, that's why he always dresses. He always I've has a leather jacket like and some that. kind of weird hat and glasses. Yeah. I've never seen him like that. But I've never seen him with hair that long. That's what this one has. Um. But yeah, I mean, we're we're we've got a lot of a lot of big things coming up. But it, like I'm saying, I think it's weird that they said all the reports leading up to this said Rick was going to be in six episodes. This is five, and it's his last one. 
telling you, he may show up at the season finale or something. This is episode five that we watched. Four. Oh, okay. Next next episode's so five, five, and he's supposed to be in six, but they're saying next episode's the last one. Well, uh, maybe it is. I mean, they they did. Um, they've been known to throw like casting curveballs like that because mm-hmm. you remember when they were fighting the cannibals of Terminus, and then there was like that little arc where the cannibals were like out in the wild and hunting them down and stuff, mm-hmm. and the the leader of the cannibals, Gareth. The guy who played him, like, that season was promoted to uh, regular. You know, he wasn't like a guest star or yeah. a sub player. He was a regular. And that was like, oh, he's going to be the big villain this season. Three episodes in, he was dead. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, they made a big deal. You never uh, know. Yeah. Um, they're, the, the Walking Dead, the people who run the show are, I don't, I don't trust them as far as, they can, as I can throw them. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying anything they say about Rick dying his last episodes, take it with a grain of salt because he's he's not gone. I'm sure we'll know this time next week. But anyway, I guess we'll go ahead and wrap. Anything mm-hmm. further? No further thoughts. Or... No, we pretty much covered. Yep. Yeah, well, I just kind of got on my soapbox there for a minute. Not really. The comic was always nice to talk about. Batman. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. And uh, anyway, everybody uh, stay tuned tomorrow night. I'm not going to do it live. Um, we're we're going to be doing an uh, interview with Richard Starkings of uh, oh, Comic Craft. I'm not going to do it live. I just, yeah. no need. We don't have a big enough audience on Twitch. We're just going to record it. Tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to record it and put it on YouTube tomorrow okay. night. Um. But yeah, but we don't have a big enough audience on Twitch that's into comics and stuff. To, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not, not going to bother with that just yet. But uh, anyway, yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap. We'll be on tomorrow night, probably publishing at around 9 o'clock. Uh, Richard Starkings of Comicraft, really big, you know, back in the 90s with that. And then he just got through writing The Beef, which is a really cool, I think, image title, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, anyway, we'll see everybody tomorrow. I will be doing a live stream probably the last hour or so of Spider-Man. So. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we'll see everybody then. I'm Lonnie. Hello. We are Untitled Learn Network, brought to you by Infinity Flux. And your local Satanist, I'll see everybody tomorrow for Spider-Man.